Today we celebrate the Feast of the Ascension. We are almost at the end point of the Easter season. And this feast reminds us of Jesus' final journey home to God. One of the most powerful images that I've heard of preaching on this gospel came from when I was in graduate school from one of my professors, he, a Lutheran pastor who preached on this text. And what he said to us stays with me to this day. He said, this feast, the Feast of the Ascension, reminds us that God knows now in a way that God had never known before what it means to be human. Think about that. God knows what it means to be human in a way that God had not known before in the life of Jesus here with us. And Jesus' journey back home to God is sharing God all of those stories and all of those experiences of what it was like to live the life as a full, fully human being here on earth. The first part of the story though speaks of in the Gospel of Luke of Jesus reminding the disciples that they are witnesses to this life of Christ in the death and resurrection of his life and of sending a promise of God's blessing of the Spirit. Jesus said to the twelve, Thus it is written that the Messiah must suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. You are witnesses to all of this. And I will send down upon you the promise of God. The promise of God is the Holy Spirit, which we will celebrate next week in the Feast of Pentecost. The second part is about the leave-taking. Jesus then led the disciples out near Bethany and with hands upraised, blessed them. And as he blessed them, he left them and was taken up into heaven. They fell down to do him reverence and then returned to Jerusalem filled with joy. They were found in the temple constantly praising God. Jesus in this leave taking is on this journey back home to God this ascension at Bethany, this tiny speck of a town right outside of Jerusalem where the disciples receive that final blessing. And then Jesus goes, ascends and goes home to God, connecting with God and humanity. God, Christ is that connection. And it's more deeply connected now than it was before. Jesus, the Christ, the risen one, connecting us with God. Right now, the Gospel of Luke says the disciples then are filled with joy and go back into the temple praising God. Other Gospel stories will share they're they're afraid. We will hear more about the disciples on that Feast of Pentecost and receiving the promise of God at at Pentecost. Meanwhile, this week, Ascension, this feast, reminds us that we are all on a journey home to God. This life we live here now, we are journeying home to God in some way. And the promise that Christ gives us in this week that we live in that journey is that Jesus says the Holy Spirit, the promise of God is with us. We're not alone. That promise of God that began and came full circle near Jerusalem in that tiny city of Bethany connects us through Jesus, connects us to that experience of God. And in that connection, maybe we experience God in a way we have not experienced before through the the eyes of resurrection and how we practice resurrection. And God comes full circle in this feast saying God experiences humanity in a way that God had not known before in Christ. This week, as we journey together, And in our own personal journey with God, realize that we are not alone. God is with us always. Amen.